Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Tower, and this is Mars energy, Scorpio, Aries energy. So in the reverse, this does look like an energy of revisiting a situation that may have fallen apart. So this is a card of rebuilding things, focusing on where things went wrong, you know, kind of trying to avoid disaster again, or to just pick up the pieces after a disaster has already occurred. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the world. In the reverse and this is fixed sign energy the magician in the reverse mercury energy and we have the queen of swords in the reverse air energy okay so it does look like there was a lot of hurt feelings a lot of disturbance here with the queen of swords in the reverse um someone still has hard feelings they still feel bitter because of what happened and um they want revenge or they you know they want to address it you know this is someone who does still feel like they were done wrong and they want to kind of balance things out. The magician being here does show manipulation, mind games. Um, someone could have been uh, really pulling the strings to have the upper hand and everything came to light. And as a result, the connection fell apart. With the, 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 the magician in the reverse and the queen of swords in the reverse, it doesn't show up as there being one specific person that led to the demise of this connection. It looks like the connection wasn't built on the right foundation because both people came in with the wrong energy you know the magician is like about manipulating people or trying to control the person or the situation the circumstances while the queen of swords can be someone who's bitter because of their past or what they've experienced they don't have a, a you know a positive outlook on love they, they are a bit jaded so these are both negative vibrations coming together and as a result it manifested in a connection you know a tower the only tower that can the only time the tower can destroy relations relationship is if it wasn't built on the right foundation to begin with. So that looks like what happened here. It was inevitable, this destruction. But in this case, it does look like both parties are acknowledging this 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 feeling that there is unfinished business with the, the, the world being in the reverse. It's like an opportunity to revisit this and kind of fix things or get closure or, you know, repair something. The opportunity is there with the world being in the reverse and the tower being in the reverse as well. So let's clarify these cards, uh, Virgo. Okay, we have the seven of swords in the reverse air energy gemini libra aquarius energy so in the reverse this is a card of transparency being open and honest with each other being even a little bit vulnerable you know owning up to things confessing to truths if there's been lies or deception there's this feeling of taking off the mask you know really being authentic and addressing something from an honest place and this does look like, you know, both people telling the truth about their side. So, yes, yeah, it looks like the, this connection, there's an opportunity to repair things if both people are willing to be transparent. Let's see. Okay, we have the Three of Pentacles, Earth Energy. The Star, Aquarius Energy. And the Two of Cups, Water Energy. There's definitely a feeling of reconciliation and repair. Three of Pentacles is working together as a team to build something. 
you know, both people putting in the efforts, the time, the energy to build something from the right place. And this is focusing on the foundation, doing things properly and a team effort, both people putting in the same amount. This is a project that, you know, both people want to last a long time. And at the start, there's an air of hopefulness. There's an air of optimism. And that is also, again, restoring a connection, pouring into it, a mutual kind of energy, meeting each other halfway and hearing each other out. Both people getting the opportunity to feel seen, heard and understood. It does look like it's not easy, but there's this feeling of both people wanting it enough so that they can both put in the same amount of effort. There's reciprocity with the Two of Cups and mutual efforts. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out an Oracle card for you, Virgo. Okay, we have expect powerful change new mini clips so this can still be turned around there's definitely a feeling of putting aside the game playing being upfront being authentic working together you know having that shared goal you know allowing change to happen very powerful change as a result okay so let's see Okay, we have make the efforts great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take so there's that message of putting both people putting in efforts you know meeting each other halfway okay let's see Okay, we have strength of character and moral integrity. Character cannot be developed in ease and quiet. Only through experiences of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened, vision cleared, ambition inspired, and success achieved. Okay, so yeah, it looks like coming back from a major setback, there's a come up, there's a, um, a recovery. Okay, so... But with efforts, of course, because it does look like it's it's taking a lot of effort. You know, it's also strengthening one's character and and even showing up as you know, showing one's integrity, the moral compass, and the willingness to make efforts or put in effort for love. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out a card for your advice, Virgo. we have surrender defensiveness defensiveness is a sign of weakness <clears throat> to communicate in a more empowered way stay centered and hear someone out then offer a clear non-defensive response so there's again that message of you know really both people coming with a willingness to hear and to be seen um, you know not being defensive you know really working together as a team recognizing that it's you it's you guys against the problem not you guys against each other there's something about making that effort to really collaborate and um and seeing you know being on the same the same page okay so that's what i'm seeing for you virgo i hope you have a really really good day virgo bye virgo